Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a beautiful video. First, let me show you this cool looking guy, man, right there. You see him with ultimate rare, uh, ultimate blue eyes, white dragon guitar. Come on, that's one bad mo4 right there. Anyways, I just wanted to point it out. It looks really cool. Guys, I'm going to be showing you my Starlight collection. Starlights, guys, are not cheap by any means. They're really, really expensive. I mean, the cheapest you can get is like 90 to close to $100. That's the cheapest you'll get them, you know? And super rare, you only get one Starlight every 16 booster boxes, give or take. So that's pretty rare. So speaking of beautiful cars, the giveaway, I found these guys in my collection, you know, and I actually like them a lot. So I will share it with you guys. First, Pandemic Dragon, beautiful car man, right there. And then Imperial Tombs of Nicker Valley, cool artwork. I like it a lot. Also Secret Rare. And then Mobius, the Mega Monarch, my favorite Monarch of them all. My personal favorite anyways one lucky winner will get these three guys all you have to do is be subscribed subscribing is free guys you can always change your mind like the video and comment down below bros your favorite starlight of this video okay it's your favorite starlight of my collection so far so speaking of my collection guys of course i'm gonna be well i want to make a video next year right and uh, my goal is to improve on my collection of starlights you know right now i, I only have 10 total uh, I used to have more, obviously, but I had to trade and sell in order to keep up with this expensive hobby and, you know, to keep up my uh, collection, you know. So, anyways, here we go. Guys, here we go. First, this awesome guy, man. The Grand Radiance. I can't tell you enough how beautiful these cars are, man. I like them so much. And I'm gonna pop the prices just for the heck of it, but this is one of the most cheapest. I think it's like 100 bucks, give or take, but beautiful car nonetheless. And this uh, I got from a, um, did I get, did I pull this or did I get this from a mystery box? I can't remember. I think I got it from mystery box actually, from a $1,000 mystery box. Anyways, really cool car, I like it a lot. That's one. The second one is the Anti-Human Intelligence <laughs> M-E-P-S-Y y a really weird name but really beautiful car all the same you know what and well actually you know what hold on not one guys but actually I have two one i pull it from uh the blisters and the other one i pull it from one of the uh booster boxes the last booster box in the case actually so let me take one out just because i have two guys these three cards in my my humble opinion these are not worth grading because they're not that expensive Unless you grab him uh, for like the $20 or so, you know. But anyways, I want to show you how, how beautiful this car really is. One of personal favorites, actually. It just looks amazing, you know. And it's also one of the uh, cheap ones, believe it or not. I think it's also around anywhere between 90 and 100 bucks, somewhere in there. Hold on. So yeah, two of them right there. Pretty cool. All right, next one. This one I pull also from a booster box, the last booster box on... Um, Lightning Overdrive. I did a video where I actually opened both uh, booster boxes, the last ones from the cases, and I've got both Starlights. One of my favorite videos of all of my whole channel. Um, so yeah, Book of Lunar Eclipse, beautiful car, man. Even in Secret Rare, this car is amazing. Starlight Rare, obviously even more, you know? And I don't know how much it is, 130, 120, something like, something like that. Next. Three words, guys. Shass it up. Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. This also, I pull it. I also bought a whole case and I actually got it. Um, I can't remember, but the first six uh, boxes I got it. And believe it or not, guys, this is my first Starlight from this set. So I was really happy when I when I got it. Arm Dragon level Thunder level 10. Shass it up, boys. All right, now this car. I actually traded Defensive Knight Born Scales. I know I got reprinted uh, recently, but still Starlight. And this is actually high up in price. You know, before before the reprint, I think it was like 200, uh, 250, something like that. I wonder if it dropped in price ever since it got reprinted. I don't know if uh, reprints actually affect the Starlight or not. I don't think it does, but I'll pop up the prices on the screen anyways. But anyways, Phantom Nice with Thorn Scale. Really cool looking guy, man. Looks like a Phantom, you know. I don't know. I like it a lot. That's another one I just actually purchased from my guy Amhas. 
quite recently, a week or so ago, and that's Protecting Spirit Lagath, something like that. Beautiful girl, man. Definitely one of the um, top waifus, if you ask me. Right? <laughs> yeah, beautiful car, man. I mean, oh, Starlights. I mean, I wish I can take it out of the sleeves and just show you, but you can tell, like, the shininess throughout the whole car, right? Next, believe it or not, guys, even though it's not the most expensive by any means, it's actually personally my favorite one, and that's Gaia, the National Army of Dragons, only because it holds, you know, nostalgia from um, Gaia. Uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh's, uh, Yugi's one of Yugi's favorite cards, you know. So, of course, I'm gonna have to be one of my favorites of all time. First edition. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this guy, this card, when it first came out, like, very first week, I think it was selling for like $500 or, or more when it first came out. And for some odd reason, it actually dropped in price. I don't know about the price right now, but I'm thinking about 200 bucks. I'm thinking at least. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I just want to show you guys the beauty. Not necessarily the price on it, but the beauty, you know? Yeah. Okay, next one. It's, you guys seen this before. You saw this recently. Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder, one of the most expensive ones. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's over 400 bucks. Again, I, uh, it got reprinted recently. I don't know if this actually affected price or not. But last time I checked, it's over 400 bucks. And I'm going to show you something real quick, guys. And the reason I took it out, the top loader, is because this car is going to be on my um, binder. Always. I'm not going to grade this guy at all. Uh, the reason is i actually thought about it guys i actually made a video recently where i asked you guys if i should grade this or not and most of you guys say yes go for it which i did agree but let me show you something this card if you can if you can see guys the uh, off center it's actually look, looking pretty good right up bottom left and right looks pretty good not perfect but really really good you know but if you flip it guys i actually double checked it and i, I don't know man i don't know how i feel about it guys look top and bottom it's actually a little bit off center, but if you look left and right, it's also off center, you know? So I'm pretty confident this is not gonna get a 10, man. And if it's not a 10, it's not worth it, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep it in my uh, binder forever. It's, you know, Big Daddy Seuss, one of my favorite cards, actually. So yeah, put it back in the top order just in case, but even though it's not a PSA 10, I still wanna keep it as uh, better shape as possible, you know? My last car, bros, it's actually one of the best starlights of all times. Not the most expensive, but really, really cool, iconic. And this I'm actually great instead of a uh, Zeus, but I don't know yet. Uh, I'm gonna double check her condition. But here, guys, I think uh, everybody knows this girl. Effect Baylor has been reprinted like what? 20 times at least, if not more. And it still holds value. You know, one of the best hand traps in the game and starlight bros. I actually pulled this uh, myself. Uh, one of my first videos I would pull Oh, I have both first videos I ever did. It's already cold. Guys, Journey Code is my favorite uh, set of all time. My personal favorite. I actually pulled... Uh, how many Starlights? I think I pulled two. By the way, guys, I did have a lot of more. A lot more Starlights, like I mentioned. But I had to sell and trade a bunch of them. So, fake Baylor Bros. My most expensive one. And my second favorite of all time, actually. Really cool. Guys, let's hope next year I can have more star uh, Starlights in my collection. Um, even I have it to, you know, trade or sell more of my cards. I don't care. I love them. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy as much as I did and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.